Hello, wherever you're watching me from, this is Evans Lukumana of the Diversity Learning Institute, based in Germany, city of Hamburg. I'm your teacher, tutor, instructor in German language, level A1 or level A1. Now, we're going to continue with our lesson six, meine Familie my family now what i'm gonna do is to share the screen so that i get back to my usual book or board and you're gonna follow me so it, here we go here we go this is where we ended right from the last lesson remember we are on lesson called my family my family just a quick uh, review number dry that is my family this is my family hören sie noch einmal und ordnen sie zu listen once more and fill out the blanks make order okay order in this case to fill out the blanks now you cannot fill out the blanks if you do not know the terminologies okay behind this page now let us do some definitions you don't have the cd you don't have the audios here don't worry i'm gonna give you all the stuff but later on you can listen to the audios at your own time let's make some definitions father mean father right please in your book gross elton means grand parents plural grandparents muta means mother okay this is counseled or it's filled out here elton means parents bruder means brother again muta means mother so they're simply saying try to fill out here now let's quickly read through photo a, B, C. Das sind Tim's Eltern. Sind means are, ah, don't forget. So now look here. Sometimes we say, Das is Martin. This is Martin. Now, singular Martin. It's not here, of course. I'm just trying to give you. Oh, I can say, Das is Tim. Okay, forget about the S. That's his team. I'm simply saying this is team. I can still use das for plural. Das sind teams Elton. These are teams parents. In German, I'm using das for singular team and das for plural parents it's possible in english we use this is team these are teams so this is changing to this in german it stays like that does does so just differentiate with plural by using zind okay teams elton now look at this these are the parents okay so we are trying to break down who this is, who this is. So here we can say Tim's father. Okay, we can cancel this one out. I know it's on the CD, but we can make sense out of that. All right. Tim's father. This one. And Tim's mother. When we talk about parents, we simply say father and mother. Okay? Und means and. You know it's now. Okay. Perfect. So these two are gone here. Das is Tim's. Ah, in fact, this is not Tim. Okay? This is Tim's. So we can say, you can't be gross Elton. You can say brother. Das is Tim's brother. 
this person here. So this is gone. Now let's check here. What I'm trying to guess because I'm not listening to the CD at the moment. You're gonna listen to the CD, but I can bet you I'm doing the correct stuff. <laughs> okay, here we go. Now look at this. These are, you can tell, okay, very old. You can tell that they are grandparents. Okay, cross Elton. Now let's start with this lady here. Okay, which I think is the same as. Here we go. Das ist Lara's. Mm -hmm. You can say Gross Elte. No, so it's Muta. So this is Lara's mother. Okay, remember we talked about Lara from the other photos here. This is Lara. Just a quick review. We are using East because she's singular alone. Now, look at the arrows here. They are referring to two people, Gross Elton. So we can say, Das sind Lara's Gross Elton. So this is, okay, Lara's grandparents. I've got it without the CD. You want to listen to the CD and prove me wrong. Okay, that's a joke. Now we're going to continue. Take note. Write down in your language, English and in German. All these you should not forget. B. Was ist richtig? What is correct? Hören Sie und kreuzen Sie. Okay. Listen and cross out what is correct. Don't worry because there's no CD. Later on, you're going to listen to the CD, but let's just read what is here. Lara is 20 years old. Meaning, Lara is 20. 20 means 20. Write down. Yare means years. Okay? Years without e at the end, only yar without e at the end is singular, okay? Like ein yar, one year. We just write j a h r o j a h r, okay? Out means o. Perfect. Out means old. Try. Lara hat Geschwister. Write down new word as well here. Lara hat Geschwister. Hat is has. Has. Geschwister means siblings. We can say in English siblings, brothers and sisters. Okay? Siblings. Dry Lara's possessive here because of S. Lara's father lived in Poznan. Uh -huh. Now we are gossiping, we are doing reference. Lara's father lives. This is in English, lives. S brings in T in Poznan. Poznan. I think it's a city in uh, Poland. Now, the original verb is Leben. Okay, am I allowed to write here? Leben, this is the original. Okay, L, that's L. Leben, to live. But talking about somebody else? In this case, reference, third person lives. Lived in pause none as simple as all that. Now you are masters, guys, because you've done the grammatic. Here we go, we continue. Ah, we get S incomplete, supposed to be B get S, but we shorten it and say we get S. Like 
How is it going? Remember, V is how get comes from gehen. How is it going? Like in English, sometimes we ask somebody, hey, come on, man, how is it going? Or what's going on? This is what's happening here. Okay. You respond, danke, good. Thank you, good. Like good in English. Now, look at this. Our eyes. There is also some CDs to listen to, but don't worry, I'm going to ride you through. Our eins. Wie geht es? Hören Sie und ordnen Sie zu. Okay, now here they're simply saying, you know, listen to the CD. Okay, somebody's greeting, wie geht es dir? Then somebody's responding with different types of antworten. Antworten means answers. So when you are asked, Somebody greets you in German. Wie geht es dir? Or wie geht es Ihnen? Dir is informal. Okay? Wie geht es dir? Okay? That's informal. Then we're going to meet this one. Oh, it's here. Ihnen is formal. Okay? So, wie geht es dir, for instance? You can answer super. Okay, or you can answer danke, sehr gut. Sehr means very. Okay, thank you, very good. Or you can answer just good. Danke, good, thank you. Or you can respond here, na, ja, es geht. Na, I mean, it's not even a German language to a word to translate. Just like, ah, yeah, or da, oh, yeah. Okay, yeah is yes. Na, yes, es geht. Remember, es means it. Okay, it goes. Okay, or oh, it's going. Oh, life is going. You get a point? Five, or the fünf. Ach, nicht so good, not so good. So is English in German, S, remember, sounds like Z. Ah, nicht so good. Oh, well, then you just put here what goes together, all right? So that's not important. Important is what I've explained to you. Let's go to the next. That's why. That's why. We get as in and this is now formal, okay? In and when you are greeting your boss or somebody you're meeting for the first time, you're gonna use in and okay. How are you? Or how is it going with you, sir, madam? The implication ah was ist richtig because you have to listen to the CD, so they're asking what is correct. Hören Sie und krausen Sie an. Listen and cross, like here, cross out. Now, we're just going to be uh, reading together or checking it together without the CD. We're going to listen to the CD later on. Eins, wie geht es Tim? She's greeting Tim, asking Tim. Okay. Try. We get as mm, dot dot Walter Bauman, Frau Janssen. Okay, so most likely here, this is a very formal arrangement. So we expect to have in here. Yeah. There comes in this one here, the formal. Okay, this one here is an informal arrangement because these two guys they know each other already so here there's going to be dear okay we're going to meet oh this one here dear okay dear right informal greeting in and formal cool <clears throat> excuse me here we go
I need some cup of water. Let's go. Bay, we get as in it. Already in Germany, when you are here, if somebody comes to you with inen, also respond with inen. Very important. Okay? If somebody comes with you using dear, we get as dear. If you are at the same level, same age, probably you can estimate. You can also respond with dear. But if it's an elderly person greeting you using dear, don't go back with dear. Okay, you go with in and automatically. Okay, very important. Otherwise, if you go, dear, oh, somebody might get you know furious. That's a joke, but take note. Now here we go. Wollen Sie noch einmal und sprechen Sie dann mit Ihrem Namen? Listen once more, noch einmal, once more, and speak then. Meet with Irem Namin, with your names. Okay, Irem, don't ask him about Irem this time around. It's going to come in the higher level. Okay, that's another topic. So, understand the context. Listen once more and speak then. Using your names means now you are in a class setup. You turn to your neighbor and you start asking one another. Maybe there's John here. Hello, John. You get dear because I know John. I'm gonna use dear. Okay. If Mar Maria tends to another person she's meeting for the first time, whose name is Jansen, for instance, she's going to say, okay, Guten Tag or Guten Morgen. Okay. Hey, Jansen or uh, wie geht es Ihnen? Okay. Wie geht es Ihnen? Just that. So here we are just trying to learn about dia and inen. Formal, informal. Take note of that. Now let's check here. This first one, ah, eins. Hello, Lara. Already, when you see hello, Lara, this is informal. Hello, Tim. Wie geht es? Danke. Good. And we get as dear. You see? Inform. Auch good. Danke. Auch, you know, it means also good. Thank you. We are done with, I think this is the photo here. Yes. Now let's go to photo three. Good morning. Frau Janssen. Already you are seeing Frau. This type of address, Frau, just know that this is formal. Okay? Her for men, H E R R. Okay? Also, it's going to be formal. Good morning, Her. This one here, Bauman. Die geht es Ihnen. Danke sehr gut. Und Ihnen? Ach, nicht so gut. Good morning, Mrs. Janssen. Good morning, Mr. Baumann. How is it going? Or how are you? Danke, thank you. Very good. And you, in respect. Also, not so Good. Here we go. You catching stuff here. Okay, say cutting spiel. Fragen Sie und antworten Sie. Okay, now you have to play the cards like you are in class arrangement, just about the same thing we have done above here. Once this person is Hassan, he get us. S gate, it's going. S gate. Dimitra, wie geht es dir? Danke, gut. Jenny und, 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 und. Oh, Jenny und, und, und. See the same stuff we've done above here. Now, let's check here. The 
pragmatic how it goes and how things change. Do inform the gates, the gates dear. Then you can answer good danke. With Z, Z means respect, remember? The gates, the gates innen. Still response is good danke or any of the above. If you are not okay, don't say good, danke, okay? You say nicht, so good. Here we go. Add right, ZNZ, the builder, and ZNZ, the builder. Build without ER, build, means, okay? One, builder, plural. That's why you are having D builder article is D for plural. Remember all the time the article is D. Do or does he? So they ask you, where can you can you use where can you use do? Where can you use Z? Meaning which one is informal situation, which one is formal situation? Try then Z. Gespräche und sprechen Sie. They are saying, right? Okay. The Gespräche, you remember, it's conversation. Okay, conversation in German. And speak it. So you can write about this picture, you can write about this picture, you can write about this picture, and about this picture, then you speak it. So here, uh, <clears throat> the conversation is guten tag i think this is picture one guten tag guten tag frau sanchez the get is in him. this is somebody's coming to work this is formal is it so we are going to use this one z okay so this one for more okay I like shading colors. Great. So this is the Z situation or formal situation. Now let's check here. Okay. What discussion is going to be here? What do you think? Some first and foremost, let us identify is it do or Z here? This is do. Why? Because somebody is touching the shoulder and she's touching the shoulder. So here is going to be good in tag, good in tag without frau. Okay, it's just going to be maybe guten tag, Robert. Then also, we get s dear. Okay, we get s dear because it is do situation. Okay, so we're gonna say this one comes here. Now let's check the third one. You can check children, children playing together. I think these are family friends. So also it's gonna be the do situation. You get this dear, you get this dear, okay? Now look at this. I'm pretty sure um, my giant screen says it's also not clear. This is at the airport, this man on arrival. And you know, we carry some stuff just to identify somebody. So this is the Z situation. So it's going to be Guten Tag, or the Guten Morgen, Guten Abend, wie geht es Ihnen? Simple as all that. Come on, guys. Now you are advanced. Let's move fast at a rocket speed. B, das ist mein Bruder. We've done this already. I don't need to explain the reason why there's no E at the end. Bruder is there. Okay? B, eins. Wer ist das? Where, in this case, who is this? Holen Sie und ordnen Sie zu. Listen and fill out the blanks. Don't worry about filling out because you got no CD, but I'm going to make sense out of this page. Learning new words, okay? Family words in this case. Now, here is R. Let's check. Meine Enkelin, meine Enkelin. So Enkelin, please write down. Enkelin means granddaughter. Enkelin means 
granddaughter. Now, what if you want to say grandson? Just remove the last I-N, okay? It's going to be, also remove here, okay, come on, let's do this, yeah. So it's going to be ankle. Grandson is ankle, granddaughter ankling. So for ankle, we are going to just use mine without E, mine ankle. Awesome, because son is there, masculine. Ankling, D, daughter, okay, or doctor. Super, here we go. Meine Tochter, you know this, I can't talk about it. Meine Frau, Frau is wife or woman. Mein Sohn, Sohn is son, also without E, Jack, because of their masculine. So, Walter, Louise, meine Frau, meine Kinder. Okay, so there are some arrows here. My kinder means my children, okay? Then Lily, yeah? B, was ist richtig? What is correct? Crowd sends he and cross out. Sophia is, okay, of course, don't forget there is a CD playing. So, of course, this guy is saying something, but don't worry, I'm here to define everything for you. Sophia is my sister, my sister. Okay, this is not an answer, but my Oma. Oma, write it down. Oma is grandmother. Grandmother. My Oma, grandmother. Then this little girl, I think this is Lily. Saying something, Walter, Walter is, Walter is the name, is, this is the man here, he's a man, masculine. Mein man, mein opa, okay, even if you haven't listened to the CD here, I can give you the answer. It can be my man, man is husband, okay, or, or a man. So she's saying, is my husband. No, this is so little, okay. So the answer is definitely my opa. So opa in this case now means grandfather. Write it down, okay? Grandfather. Remember, you can always pause the video, write down the notes, and listen again and recorrect yourself. Okay, here we go. German language made easy by the best learning institute right here in germany hamburg next bear try familian photos now you guys are experts of you know a long words familian photos so photos you know photos family family is family with n Familian photos as a connecting letter. Family photos, okay? Family photos. Ordnen Sie zu und hören Sie. Parieren Sie dann. Okay, also, you know, after listening, uh, you make order, okay? Then you listen. Like, to try it out, then you're gonna do what? Listen to the CD and check yourself to say, oh, I'm right, I'm wrong. Okay. Dein, mein, meine, ihre. I hope you remember this is what we started with from grammatic and conjugation, grammatic und conjugation based on my family. Let's check photo eins. There is that. They are watching, oh, what's this? Um, the photos. Now, there's a question. Where is das? Dein Bruder? Okay. Who is this? Your brother? This is already done. Yes. Why not deine 
E because of brooder, masculine, okay? Nine, das ist im Vater. No, this is my father. So, are you going to take mein or you're going to take my name? Make sense out of it. We are talking about masculine also. So, it's going to be mein Vater. Simple. German made easy. Let's go to photo. Try or two. Now, look at this. This looks like a formal setup, okay? Informal, that's why we are using dying, okay? This is informal. Now, check. There is das. Mm, Tochter, your daughter. Of course, it can be mine, mine, your. So now, it's going to be here. Ihre, okay? Ihre Tochter. Why ire? Because doctor is feminine. Cool. Then, response. Nine. Das ist mm, anchoring, really. No, this is my granddaughter, really. We've checked above, further above. Now, is he going to use or is she going to use mine tochter, mine anchoring, or mine anchoring? Of course, it's going to be mine anchoring, Lily. Why? Because anchoring is feminine. As simple as all that. Remember what I told you when we just started to say, don't dodge the classes on grammatic. Okay? The articles. Because we are just referring back to the articles. There, de, does. There, de, does. I hope you remember very well. I mentioned to say, you know, when you master, okay, the articles and their behavior, you are going to apply such kind of behavior throughout our course. Sorry, throughout our course. We're going to be referring to that. They are did das. Okay? Here. Das Boch. Das. The article for this book is das. Therefore, I can say mein Boch. Not my name. No. Mein Boch. And so on and so forth. It becomes interesting when you understand the rules. The articles. The verb and the verbs, how they change, possessive article, possessive articles, everything becomes much easier. I'm gonna get back to my screen shared. Here we go. Now, varianten, varianten, okay, variants, just like in English. Fata, opa. Muta Oma, like from father, you become Opa, you become grandfather. Muta, from mother, you become grandmother Oma. From daughter or Tochter, you become a wife, okay, or a woman. Good. Now, just a quick round of the grammar here. Possessive articles. Mine, brother. Mein Kind, yes. Meine Tochter. Meine Kinder. Plural. Ich, mein, mein, meine, meine. Du, okay, du, that is for ich. I want to get back to this one, okay? If, me in this case so you put your position as evans your teacher here if you use i everything i possess i'm going to say either mine 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 okay do okay if i'm now talking to you in informal i'm going to say do means informal. Dein, dein, deine, deine. 
Z or oh, FOMO. I'm going to ask you, ear brooder, ear king. Sorry, here you go. Ear king, ear tochter, ear kinder. So if you move like this, okay? My brother, my brother, my king, my tochter, my kinder. Okay? Dein Bruder, dein Kind, deine Tochter, deine Kinder. In formal, formal situation, ihr Bruder, ihr Kind, ihre Tochter, ihre Kinder. It's even becoming boring because you know everything by now. Cool. I'm getting towards the end of the lesson. Let's check the next part. Bed dry, red cell. Ihr Familie schreibe sie einen Namen auf einen Zettel. Wer ist das? Ihr Partnerin, ihr Partner, right? Okay, it's not important. Just write like you in the classroom setup. Write, you know, the names of your family members. Then you let your friends to guess. Okay, red cell. So writing. Rotten means to guess. Rotten means to guess. Where is das? Where is Maria? Where is Maria? Who is Maria, for instance? Maria is deine hair frau. Okay? Somebody asks, who is Maria? Like here. Then the other person says, ah, Maria, guessing. is totally. Maria is deine hair frau. Maria is your hair. Important. Hair means married. Okay, married with a ring. Okay, you can live together with a woman in Germany. It's very common, but you are not married. So you can just say, that's my name, that is my name, Frau. Okay, but when they emphasize, they put a hair Frau, it means these are formally married. So very important. Nine, Fausch, no. False. Fausch means false. Write it down. Maria is deine Schwester oder is still trying to guess. Maria is your sister or oder means or. Ja, genau. Ja, genau means exactly or to the point. Write down that. You've learned a lot of vocabulary today. Let's, okay. Now the next lesson is gonna start from here. Say, hören Sie und ordnen Sie zu. Okay. No, let me not push it to the next lesson. I'm gonna finish it, I promise. Never be bored. Let me finish this one. It's quite interesting. Orange Z und Ordnen Z zu. Is meaning listen and fill out the blanks. We don't have a CD. Don't worry. I'm going to guide you. Is, is, kommt, lebt, kommt, leben, spricht, sind, wohnen. You have to know what all these are. All these are the verbs. Is, is, kommt, comes, lebt, Lives, kommt, comes, leben, okay, also to live, now it's a complete verb, to live, spricht, okay, speaks, why am I using S in English, because of T, 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 T at the end, okay, sind, are, wohnen, complete verb, wohnen, also to live, but in a locality, for instance, uh, I can say Leben with Deutschland or German. But Wohnen, I can take it to a city level, like Hamburg. So I can tell somebody, Ich lebe in Deutschland in Hamburg or Ich wohne in Hamburg. Okay, so just some little bit of differentiation here, though they mean the same. 
here for country status, here city status. Here we go. Ah, das ist Lara. Sie mm, aus Polen. So, aus Polen, you can tell from here. Okay, now we are in an exam room. Aus Polen, from Poland. Aus Lublin. From Lublin. So, this is a city in Poland, Lublin. So, this is Lara. She comes from Poland. So, we can, uh, let me cancel that. That wanna go, you're gonna start afresh. You say she z she comes. That's why there's T from Poland from Lublin. Lara's Elton. Lara's parents mm, nicht Susamen. Susamen write down means together. Okay. So, nicht means not. So, Lara's Elton, um, they don't live together, okay? They don't live together. We're going to leave it here because there's a CD. I don't want to make a mistake. We're going to get back to here. Let's see what we can put. Z-N-Geschieden. They... Ah, uh, geschieden. Geschieden means you can check here, divorced. So here I'm confident. We're gonna put zint means ah. Uh, they are geschieden. That is the parents of Lara. Okay. I'm gonna read the story very well after we've done the filling out. Lara's father in, in Poznan. So Lara's father lives in Poznan. Okay. Now, so here Poznan, we are going to take this one. Lives, lives, or stays in Poznan. Lived in Poznan. We are correct here. I'm gonna do that. Wait a second, here we go, I like drawing. We're gonna do that. Here we go. We have oh, we've arrived. B. Ah, here we have got already zind. Zind is here. Das in Tim is alone. So it's gonna be east. Das ist Tim. Er mm, aus Canada. Er he comes from Canada. So we are going to use air kommt here. Okay. Air kommt aus Canada. Air, you see we are using air because we are saying he. If it was a woman, we're going to say Z. Like here, we said Z. Air mm, ambition dodge. Now you guys will know the meaning of ambition. A bit dodge. He speaks a bit Dutch or a bit German. So where he's speaking here, er spricht ambition Dutch. Okay, here we go. Say, Lara und Tim mm, jetzt in München. So, Lara und Tim mm, in München. Yes means now. So they now live in motion. Okay. So now it could either be here, wohnen, or leben. Because this one can go together with here. So what we are going to do is this. Trust me, your CDs are going to catch me correct. Okay? We can put here, here, to leave. Okay? Here and born in here. You want to check it out because they intertwine. 
in any case, you've gotten the context of the explanations here. Singular guy, air. Plural, okay, we can use en and en. Singular, we use t, t, okay? Also here, singular, we used t, comes, comes, as simple as all that. Great. Now let's check here. Grammatic, grammatic, air, he, she. Oh, we've done this several times. Air on she doesn't change. Comes, lived, spreached, oh, sorry, east, and so on. Z, Z, okay, plural, common, leben, expression, zind. Tim as a single person, air. Lara, Z. Lara on Tim, Z. So you can see Z can mean she, and the same Z can mean they, because of plural. There we go. I think I'm getting down to the end of today's lesson. Yes, we, for the moment, gonna end right here. I want to write the end, what's happening? Okay, so end, end there. And it's how we write end with E. End. We're gonna finish here. And next time we're gonna start from this point. Okay. This is German language made easy for English speakers. When you are here, when you get down right to German, you aren't going to have problems because some of us we learned German the hardest way. I've always said this. A teacher teaching you, you coming from the Arabic world, you coming from Africa, you coming from the English speaking countries, Romanian speak, and somebody just starts teaching you writing German language, giving you instructions in German, which you are trying to learn. Can you imagine? This is Evans Lukumana signing off. Get down to our website and check what we offer, not only German language, we've got quite a good number of programs we offering right in Germany here and especially in the third world countries like Zambia. We are in 10 provinces of Zambia to offer German language, uh, bachelor and master degree programs starting new index this January, February 2020. Happy New Year, sign up with Diversity Learning Institute. And by the way, I'm going to announce something here. For those that would love to come and study right in Germany here, and you've got the fees before you send your children to Germany, you want to just uh, come and check uh, what how the countries, especially those that are coming from Zambia and other, I come from Zambia, <laughs> I'm selling my country, other uh, English-speaking countries, because Germany is not so uh, famous and popular. I tell you, they've got great universities and programs taught in English as well. And we've got a program called GUP, G-U-P-P, Capitals GUP, meaning German University Preparatory Program. You can send your child or you can come together with the family for one month. We're going to accommodate you and take you around different universities and different cities at the same time and uh, companies so that your eyes are open. This is a great country the third largest economy in the world, and of course, the first in Europe. Evans Lukumana signing off and see you in the next topic.